All right, so today is day two. I got Omar in the back. Day two at the vet. So yesterday we had a vet appointment. You want to check up? Yeah. What do you think, dude? I don't know what to think. Because Omar's belly hasn't like gone down. He went on a diet and his belly hasn't gone down. He leaned out everywhere else. And so I got concerned. I've been concerned. It's been so fucking busy. So we took him in for that and his nose and his tail and just like to check him out. But yesterday we did blood work. We have to wait to see what's coming back from that. But they do want to do an ultrasound because they don't know either. So today we're dropping him off for an ultrasound. And hopefully, it goes, oh good boy. Hopefully it just goes really smoothly. And that's, that's it. We won't know ugh, until later. I definitely got like almost no sleep last night. And all day yesterday, I just hung out in bed with Omar and watched Ozark. Cause I was a little sad, you know, just thinking about my dog and just how life has been going and just, I just can't handle it. So, uh, yeah, but we're taking care of the situation. Shout out to life. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Yeah. Are you here for Omar? Yes. Yeah, cool. There's the signature we need from you. Daddy, come pick you up as soon as you're done, okay? Are you around today? You yeah, I'm, have... yeah. Okay. Sure. All right, so today is Wednesday. I told myself no matter what, I was going to go. Last night I got like eight inches of snow, so here I am walking in it. Man, life sometimes can really fucking suck. Uh, I feel like all I do now is make sad updates because my life has just taken this crazy valley i am awaiting the ascension to the peak but right now man it is rough of course everything going on with just alex's mom and her dad just our life being in just fucking crazy you know uproar my dog is fucked up man we've gone to the vet twice as you've seen and then on that last appointment you know they found a growth in omar's belly mainly his spleen and it is fucking huge and we don't know if it's cancerous and we don't know if it's spread well there's many levels to the stress you know first was like holy shit does this need to come out right the second because if it bursts and he starts internally bleeding he's gonna die at first they were like yeah well, we can't remove it there's no appointments for surgery until like march <laughs> which he would basically have to die slowly luckily thankfully i don't know we got him into a surgery on tomorrow thursday he's going first thing tomorrow morning we're gonna just remove his whole spleen he can live without a spleen he can live a happy life if he makes it and that is like really the reality that i've been at very least bracing myself for i guess uh trying to like just really hope for the most positive outcome and i'm terrified i've been in bed with my dog for like four days, just watching movies and just enjoying our time. Uh, you know, just in fucking case, I guess. I don't know, like, this sucks, this update sucks. I don't wanna be doing this. I, uh, I gotta take him again today. Cause the main risk here are his blood levels and the risk of him hemorrhaging while surgery, you know, is happening. If that happens, it's bad. So that's where we are, I'm uh, just, uh, Try not to lose my mind, like, to be honest with you. There's no sugarcoating it. I have no philosophical fucking icing to put on this. I just know I'll get through it. I just don't know how painful it's going to be. And I guess that's just, like, what it is. I hate this. But I'm positive. The doctors are, like, so comforting. This vet is so awesome. Uh, just the way they treat the dogs, everything. Yeah, so I'm pretty confident that this is the right move. And this is what we should do. The only level up we could go is a board certified physician, but again, we can't see them until months away. And who knows, man? Like, I'm worried something's gonna happen before I get him to the vet today. A race against the clock and a ball rolling towards me, an avalanche and a fire, and just, man, shit is fucked. Sometimes life is just so, <sighs> it's so stressful. <sighs> it's so stressful.
time I checked in, we were headed to take Omar to the vet to see. I need to stop, I can't even think straight. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> we were taking the vet to get his blood checked again right before surgery. Did that, got his blood checked. He was good to go for surgery. Surgery is scheduled for Thursday, <laughs> yesterday, at 7.45 a.m. in Boulder. The biggest uh, risk or like scare for me during this was that he was gonna hemorrhage and bleed and that the surgery center uh, locally wouldn't be able to handle it. And that's what they told me. And then there's CSU, which is like top three veterinary schools <coughs> in the world, I think, or US. I called CSU before we even went to surgery or the scheduled surgery, and I was told that they were booked out for consults until March. With Omar's condition, there's no way that we could really wait till March. So I was uh, pretty torn up about making the decision to have the surgery where I could get it done. No problem with left hand. They've been amazing. Like, honestly, the best vet I think I've ever been to. Uh, the surgeon at left hand assured me, like, she can do everything she could. I was feeling pretty confident. If it did come to a point where Omar hemorrhaged during surgery, they didn't have the facilities to take care of it. Um, it would be really high risk. We called CSU, she called CSU, we couldn't get in. We scheduled the surgery. Wednesday night, I don't know, five, six o'clock, we get a phone call. And it is vet. Well, it's actually the owner of Left Hand Vet calling to tell me that my vet, who had assembled a team to help with Omar, has gotten sick. I'm assuming COVID. But she's like, it looks like the universe is just leading you to CSU. We got you an appointment at CSU and you need to be there tomorrow morning. CSU is about an hour and 10 minutes from us in Fort Collins where I used to live. And so they removed the 10.6 pound mask. We don't know if it's cancerous. It's going to get tested. Fingers fucking crossed it's not. And this is the end of it. And Omar is just back, spry, lighter than ever, and just crazy. I just want my crazy little ferocious dog back. And this vet, man, let me tell you, CSU, I cannot say enough. They called me every step of the way. Even when I lost hope, like, man, they're not going to call me tonight with a final update. Nine o'clock at night, this dude calls me. I know he's not at work. Calls me because he's checking in with all of the doctors and students that are still there overnight and just updating me and like really letting me know. I've never gotten such a complete diagnostic on my dog's health and a deeper understanding of my dog's health. Is it expensive? Fuck yes. Is it worth it? Fuck yes. You know, like that dog is my life. That dog is my child. I know people say this shit all the time, but like if I lost Omar, I'd eventually be okay, but I would be fucking devastated. And I am just so glad that I am not making a video that says that. So he did really good. We didn't hear from him overnight, which is a great sign because it probably means he just slept and nothing happened. He's supposed to call me in about 30 minutes. Me and Alex are headed back up to Fort Collins to go grab my baby. And now we got two weeks of serious resting. Oh man, I can't tell you the relief. I mean, I'm not there yet. I need him in my arms to really feel like this is over with. I can't tell you the relief that I get to see him again, man. And this is what people go through every day with animals and people, just everything, you know? It's fucking shitty. <laughs> Saturday. So yesterday we went back to CSU. Uh, we were supposed to pick up Omar, but we did not get to pick up Omar. And to monitor him for 24 more hours, just to make sure his heart is good. So we are headed back up to FOCO to get our baby boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, recording yes. All right, good morning. It is now Sunday. Whew, all right. We picked up Omar yesterday. He's doing fucking amazing. Definitely a different mood on this walk today than I have been all week. Yo, he's home. He's resting. He's got a huge slit from his belly to his wiener. Really the challenge is keeping him still and keeping him just calm so we can uh, get him all healed up and get these stitches out. And then we will hear back on whether or not uh, the mass is benign, which means it's not cancerous, or if it's malignant, which means it's cancer. We're really hoping for benign or else it's not the best news. But you know, fingers crossed, when I look back at photos, I can start to kind of notice and gain weight around last year at December. I just did, dude, things have just been chaos, like since literally December last year, because that's when Jay got out of prison. So it's just been chaos. And I guess living with him every day, I didn't notice as much. He went to the doctor. They just said he had gained weight. No one in Vegas really thought anything was up. And then pretty much since we've been in Colorado, it's just been, full tilt so i'm super lucky that we caught it and that we got taken care of the universe shuffled around and we got over to csu because had that not been the case omar probably wouldn't be here today and this would be a very different update and i'd probably be taking a hiatus um but instead the energy yesterday of getting my dog and like knowing that he's gonna be you know relatively okay supercharged me back up and i've been doing a little business here and there like the past couple of months you know i did a lookbook done some drawing and stuff like that and i've been looking for a building to do my headquarters the ted quarters in tattoo shop chipping receiving uh, you know all the stuff i do so i left omar surgery and went straight to check out a spot we'll see what the future holds but it's looking good at least more stable yeah today's a day of resting with the baby boy and uh getting life back on schedule here hopefully track something just forward Whew, what a life what a life